Well then. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. A catchy's panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the heck were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes. It was... certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, all right? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yeah. You still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is a Ketchikun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm no matter what he says. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Can I go anywhere? I can't go anywhere. No. I was about to say, do we get a photo? Sick. Photo time. This is when we were at the food stand. Ah, adorable. Man, even Yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having Yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was. It wasn't the instant stuff, but it's still good. Yeah, don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, speaking of, where are the pictures of us on? Huh? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Akira's Yakisoba with the red, big red mountain of ginger? Oh, no, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. <laughs> ah! Uh, check shady commodities, I guess. Welcome to the alluring world of Tanaka's shady commodities. I love that he's got sunglasses on. You can obtain rare and unusual items through shady commodities. Purchases will be delivered in a few days. You can only order one package at a time. More products will be available from Shady Commodities as you purchase more. Try investing and see what are stocked in the future. For any silly doubts or skepticism you might have, just sign up now. Size incredibly shady. Are you going to sign up? Let's do it. Is it a good idea to use your real name on a site like that? I'll use Joker. Your code name, man. That's a good idea. Welcome. This is Tanaki Shady Commodities. Mr. Joker, you've opened the door to possibilities that normal people can only dream of. Now you can find all the rare items you could possibly want. Foul breath. Hand mirror that frightens those who see it. That seems really useful. Oh, it deals a lot of damage to a bunch of foes. I'm just going to buy everything because I'm loaded on cash and for the sake of trying to, like, upgrade it or whatever. So far, you've spent a total of 34k yen. Good news, Mr. Joker. Why? You've already spent over 10,000 yen. Your member rank is now black. Now you can purchase all our black tier products. Your order will arrive soon. We understand your excitement, but we ask for your patience. We hope to see you again soon. All right, whatever. Thieves Den update. Nice. Uh, let's, because I have nothing better to do, what let's do go ahead that? and, oh, make 12. Yeah, okay, that seems, dude, we don't even, we don't even need the whatchamacallit yeah. anymore. We only need 12 lockpicks. Like, we should have enough lockpicks for the entire game. We don't even need the infinite lockpick anymore. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Easy. Nice. Saw that? The way you used your hands, you did great? Yeah, whatever. I don't need this proficiency. Let's get to Akechi's panel. It's time. Rize plus Teddy. We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? That man knows how to work a crowd. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. The laugh track is pretty terrible. You're right. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but... 
Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. Why are you people laughing? Is this an episode of Big Bang Theory? He's gotta be bluffing. I'm down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akenji-san? It was that cat right there that idiot no there's no way he could have any evidence there are people you all know quite well the identity of the phantom thieves are oh, it's mine I apologize for the interruption but I can't turn off my phone due to my job would you mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Please don't troll. Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shot! I have video footage too. It's almost like you were all complete idiots and just did things out in the open with no worries. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too, yes? Mm, but Chaos, you see, Ryuji's the one that you should be upset about for always saying stuff about being a phantom thief out loud and whatnot. It's not like literally every other phantom thief also does stupid stuff in public that should get them caught, but thankfully they just aren't until Akechi does. Uh, what world? Wouldn't all of you know more about it than me? I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the nav. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like we had a hideout in a public place for two missions over two months. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction, because I have the same power as you. That's right. 
So you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you, along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just because they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone, though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? You're demanding a lot, Akechi? I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. 
I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! of action he totally used makoto's suggestion against us you're right i think they just left the pictures of them vanishing into thin air <laughs> in the p faculty office indeed we intended to get intel out of him but to think it would play out like this so what we'll just accept his deal he's got evidence on us we really don't have a choice damn it what are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. That's why it says post-festival. Are you... Cat, are you dumb? I mean, yes, but... Nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? I am now! Not sure yet. Then why don't we go together? I'm in. Festivals don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai. And now, it's time for your favorite shooting tradition. The student sharing special. <laughs> but before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all. Is this new? This seems very new. There's a club for dancing? They spelled Shujin wrong. It's spelled with an H, not a Y.
Just standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it. How do I get to his FF7 dancing shenanigans? Made it to Persona 5. Okay, so it's a scene with Kasumi. Of course it's new. The guy saying the sharing thing is not new. That was in the OG. But then when he brought up the dancing thing, that was new. It's showtime. How am I going to dance with this cat on my shoulder? I am not dancing at all. Oh, there I go. Very impressive, senpai. Yeah, I've got my own dancing video game. Son, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. Who's that? 